Hi friends, welcome back or to the channel. Uh, I'm Jesse. This is Cadillac is Rotten Customs. So today's episode of shit I didn't need but I wanted, so I got it. On this episode of using my kid as an excuse to get a toy that I secretly wanted for myself, so I bought it and now I'm not allowing him to play with it yet. <laughs> we got a we picked up this um, super rad little mini jeep here. I don't know if you guys have seen these all over YouTube lately. But uh, it is just cute as a button. <clears throat> and I will say that this thing is so much funner to drive than I thought it was going to be. A little tiny 125cc 125 makes a hold on to your seatbelts folks makes 9 horsepower so you got to close the uh, what do they call it? the bonnet is two seater um, the gross weight on this thing is right around 400 pounds give or take which 400 pounds is actually really light so nine horsepower goes quite a ways so we've probably already put I don't know 10 miles on this thing and it's it's a ripper <laughs> it's just it's so fun let's do this there she goes check this out working little headlights working tail lights and incredibly annoying turn signals Come with the gas can, thank God, because me and Frank took off in this thing yesterday and we made it clear down to the other end of town. And I stupidly did not check it when we picked it up. They said, oh, it's already got fuel in it. So we just took off and ran out of gas. So we got a ride to the gas station, filled this little thing up. This is like two and a quarter, two and a half gallons, maybe. So we filled this up, topped off the tank under the hood, and this thing's still like half full. So. I'm leaving it half full because it's going to happen again. We're going to run out of gas somewhere else, so that's fine. Came with a complimentary bottle of antibacterial wipes, which I don't know why, but cool. I appreciate you. Full-size functioning spare, which these tires are 18 by 7, 8. So basically any lawnmower tire or golf cart tire or anything like that will work just fine. So we have oh, also speedos in kilometers which I know wasn't made in America. It's not supposed to be in miles per hour because everybody else in the world uses the metric system except us. So everybody else in the world is wrong. But, uh, so far I've noticed I'm missing one lug nut. I have not done a nut and bolt check, but ever since we started driving this thing, I can smell clutch material. Don't know, I'm hoping it's just like a break-in thing, but I don't think it is. And I need to get in here, well, I don't want to pull the floor pan out, because it's just from here to there. So I'm going to pull the floor pan out. And I've got to look at the front sprocket because those are notorious for coming loose. And then they wiggle themselves in towards the case and they wear a hole inside of the case. And you have an oil leak. And if you don't pay attention, you scatter the motor. So I'm going to get into there and I'll probably do the preventative measure now. You know, put washers on both sides of the sprocket. 
Um, other than that, well, and then possibly have to get into the clutch case. I, I really, I don't want to mess with this clutch, but I think I'm going to have to. It's fine. I mean, we've got swing arm in the rear with, you know, standard Chinese four-wheeler suspension. But up front, we've got full IFS with uh, coilovers here. It's got a rack and pinion steering in it. I do need, like I said, I need to work on the carburetor a little bit because because it does not like to start when it's cold. Uh, <clears throat> some of the most common issues I've seen are carburetors, batteries, uh, and the clutch. I knew those going into this because I don't know if you guys are like me, but I did an absolute shit ton of research on this thing before uh, before we pulled the trigger on it. So I knew going into this deal that I was going to have to fix some shit, you know. I did not want the green. I wanted literally any other color because I don't like olive green. Uh, we're, I plan on painting this thing. Just don't know what color yet. I'm waiting for Frank to decide because, you know, Bought it for Frank. So when we pick a color, him and I, we're going to tear this thing apart and squirt it a few times, you know. Um, we're going to take this out and, and beat on it, put it through its paces a little bit. I got a couple of four-wheeler trails in mind that I just, I'm dying to take this thing on. But I want to work on that clutch first because, like I said, it's a ton of fun. I just don't want to get clear out, you know, well, way out there somewhere and then have the clutch fry or something bad happen. So I need to get that looked at before I go too far. I mean, so far we're just kind of, we're just kind of cruising it around town and, you know, having a blast. Uh, but I'm dying to get this thing out in the dirt and see what it'll do, you know? Go abuse it, because why have it if you're not beating on it a little bit? So, top speed on this, uh, advertised as 40, it's nowhere close to 40. It's it's more like 25 to 30 with me and Frank in it. It's about 30 miles an hour. There she is, guys. Uh, like I said, should produce some pretty decent content. I'm excited to get it out and play with it a little bit. Well, to take it out and beat on it on camera. Because it's, it's, if you haven't driven one of these mini Jeeps or like a go-kart or anything like that, go find somebody that has one. These things are a blast. Um, I guess that's, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I'm going to start, I've got to pull it around and put it on the concrete and I'm going to slide around underneath it a little bit and just, I know the quality control on these things is shit, so I'm going to climb around underneath it and kind of do a nut and bolt check and see if I can't modify the the chain tensioner because it just looks like two trampoline springs with a sprocket hanging off the end of them. I don't like it. I want to modify it a little bit just to make it quieter because she's pretty noisy. Um, I don't expect it to be an absolutely silent ride, but uh, I'm going to... I'm going to pull it around and put it on the concrete, I think. And none bolt checks are not exciting, but if I find anything pressing or, you know, important, I'll, I'll come back. But if not, just consider that I probably had to just tighten a few bolts or whatever, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> I think that's, I'm going to wrap it here. Sorry. It's a shorter video, but you know, just wanted to uh, show you the new project. Not project, uh, the new toy for the channel. Yeah, stay tuned for the content. Now that it's warming up, we're going to have this thing out playing sometime soon if this warm weather sticks around. I do plan on going up. We're going to put the Jeep on the trailer and head up to some waterfalls uh, somewhat close to us. And I'll probably throw that thing up on the trailer and you know, just let Frank play with that and drive it out in the, out in the mountains and 
that'll make a pretty good video. But anyway, um, I'm going to quit rambling to get to work. So thank you for the, you know, duration of this video. I know it's a quickie, but any views I get, I do appreciate. You guys are helping my channel grow. That's what we need. And remember, your dreams aren't going to work unless you do. So go out and buy a cheap little toy and just have a blast. Stop being a grown up for a minute and go, go be a kid, you know, love you. Bye.